So being from Jackson, Mississippi, I mean, Shit. there's not many artists that come from Jackson. Yeah. Um, I mean, who are some notable Jackson art? Jackson, you know, Mississippi. Joker and David Brown. All the motherfuckers who made some jump, jump, heavy to me. And what what is the reason behind you know the lack of um, superstars out of um, Jackson, Mississippi in the hip hop industry? Man, it's slick be a lot of motherfuckers that they be born there who just move away and claim somewhere else and shit right. like that and all that. But uh, oh, I forgot Ray Shrama. They they from Mississippi too. Well, they not from Jackson though, so my fault. But uh. I believe Rick Ross is from Mississippi too. Yeah, he from Clarksdale. I think Soldier Boy too. He from Batesville. Yeah. And shit like that. And all that. I think he from Batesville. Yeah, but you know, they move away. I'm claiming the motherfucker. Yeah. You can't do nothing about it, man, you know? That's a whole nother person. They do what they feel, man, so. Hey. What's the like what's the culture in in, in Jackson, Mississippi? Culture. Like, you know, what's some, um, what's the culture like, you know, what's some trend that, you know? Country. Hood. Thugging, they thugging, we thugging. Mm -hmm. Heavy. But like, uh, everybody up the park, you know what I'm saying? It's up the park. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different aspect if you coming from way over here or way over there, you know what I'm saying? You coming there, we talk. With slang, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Our favorite look, you, you gonna know if you um, talking to a person from Jackson because they gonna call you Jew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what up, Jew? Mm -hmm. Like that. You gonna know. Right. You gonna know who you at. Then, you know. That basically how it go. Mm -hmm. So, is the rap game what you thought it was before you got in it? Is it what yeah, you expected? I, I'm still learning, so. It's, it's way more than I expected, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it's all about which, which you, you get what you put in, you know what I'm saying? So, if you ain't putting in nothing, you, ain't gonna, you shouldn't expect nothing. But if you putting in, I, y'all, you should expect something, you know what I'm saying? Right. You should, to me. Right. And especially if you got proper etiquette, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, in my opinion, I like special better than colors. Yeah. Do people tell you that? Yeah. What do you think? Why do you think color surpassed special? It was a follow-up. Okay. Like, it was a follow-up after I'm the type. Okay, right, right, right. So, everybody want to hear if I got some nicks mm -hmm. or whatever. And then, um, I really don't know how I, like, really surpassed, like, surpassed it. Like, I guess DJs, a lot of DJs picked up colors. I don't know how to, you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was so limited at the time. Oh, but that motherfucker, they went crazy. So, I really don't know. But special, special really is like my favorite too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how it go. Right now, every time I post your music, I'll be like 20 year old, you know, Lil yeah. Lonnie or 19 year old Lil Lonnie. Yeah. And they be like, he's 20. He look 12 years old. He yeah. look like he's six years old. He. He sound like he's nine, you know, nine years old. Yeah. I, how you feel about that when people think you're way younger than what you really are? That make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> shit, when I get old, I ain't gonna look old. But I'm 20 though, so shit, I'm grown, you know? Oh, whatever. Sure. Shit, I really don't care what they say. People gonna say anything. Mm -hmm. People do anything for attention too, so you gotta know that too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not to respond to what I don't even respond to bullshit, period. Yeah. So, that's just how it go. Right, so now that you know you're the hottest artist in Mississippi, how do you um, act towards other artists? Like, and do you believe in free features or putting on, you know, a lot of people like that, oh man, put on for the city, they expect you to do a lot of free stuff. You know what I'm saying? How does that go for, for Lil Lonnie in this camp? I ain't shit free. I had to pay and do a lot of shit out my pocket. You gonna have to pay and do a lot of shit out your pocket. That just how the game go. I ain't shit free in life, period. So, you know, don't don't expect nothing 
out of something, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't putting nothing, it just how the can go right, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Right. But they be, I mean, what, what was the question again? My fault. I mean, just, you know, diff dealing with different artists out of Mississippi. Yeah. I mean, right now, you are the go-to guy. Yeah. If you want to be heard, if you want to get 50,000 views or 100,000 views, you got to get a song with Lil Ronnie. Yeah. So how do you pick and choose on, you know, who to fuck with on some organic shit and who to charge? Uh, it just depends. It just depends. It just really, it really, 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 really depends. Man. I'ma say it like this. If I been fucking with you, you my nigga, like we grew up or some shit like that, we came in like that, girl. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'ma fuck with you then on on a tip like that. But if you just a new ass random motherfucker, man, hey, nah. You finna pay. You finna get taxed. And I mean, you want to I mean, I'm the go to guy. Everything I put my name on, it gonna do nothing. I I mark my word on it. I told, I, I ain't said that before, so I know, I ain't seen to happen. Mm -hmm. Turn niggas who was nobody into somebody and shit like this, so. That's just how it goes.